before arriving at Australia, I had wished um, I had known much about um, scholarship programs. The accommodation, that where you're going to live. How to dial a mobile number or any number. The weather conditions. Not necessarily how cold it gets in Australia, but that the buildings are not necessarily as insulated as they are in Canada. So when winter does come, it's good to rug up. More detail about my course content. That you have right to work while you are studying. The orientation week, because it helps you to know about the different people, know about the university as well. It was really important to learn how to swim before arriving in Australia because as we all know that Australia is famous for its beaches and you can't resist your like going to the uh, sea so you need to learn swimming. I found many people who like Japanese culture but I didn't really touch my Japanese culture so if I knew that maybe I could learn some Japanese, many Japanese culture in Japan before I came here. And probably a peek into the future maybe. Before arriving in Australia, I wish I brought in more clothing, more clothes, more shirts, because things here are really expensive. <laughs> I think the weather in Melbourne is really crazy, but I didn't wear, really prepare the clothing, many clothing. So if I wish to know that the crazy weather, I, I think I could, could bring many clothing here. You have a great opportunity to attend many cultural festivals, so I wish I had brought my cultural clothes. I think what you should expect before moving to Australia is that the people in Australia are really so frankly and really so cooperative with you. There's so many multicultural people in Australia while you're studying at Deakin. You also get to know about others' culture, about other religions and all. I think Japanese transportation is really punctual, but here in Australia, sometimes bus is coming in very late or very early. There's a saying here in Melbourne that you have four seasons in one day, and I find that often to be true. I never leave the house without an umbrella and in the winter time I found I did need a good jacket. When I first arrived in Melbourne I was greeted by a group of people who wanted to make sure that I knew how to get to Deakin. The Deakin University provides free airport pickup services which was really helpful for students like me who were coming all the way from India after a long flight. I would recommend all the students to look for accommodation nearby the university. Have a check with your friends, your peers, so that they'll be able to help you out in finding a place. But still, being in India and doing a house hunt in Australia is really hard. So what I would suggest you to do is find a temporary accommodation for like for time being for a week or two. And then once you are here, you can do a house hunt by doing an actual inspection. Some of my friends live at Deakin Accommodation and they enjoy it a lot because it provides you with all the facilities and you're close to the uni, so that's the best thing.